Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, those tuning in worldwide, thanks to iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. This is part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD, and today we're talking about vehicles. Typically, we're talking about the best vehicles for you, but I know because my nephew just turned 15, he's already starting to think about a car. A lot of you may have teenagers out there, you may be wondering what's the best vehicle for them. Well, I can't help you, but our next guest definitely can. We're excited to welcome back Brian Moody to our program. Brian is the executive editor for Kelly Blue Book. He's going to share with you guys some great tips and advice on how to choose the best car for your teens. Brian, thank you so much again for the time. Really glad to have you back on with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So this is always, I think, a tricky thing uh, for me. It's a little scary to think about my nephew driving, but <laughs> they're, they're growing up and these things happen. What factors should we consider, Brian, when it comes to car shopping for teenagers? Well, you, for, for one thing, you just consider reliability, of course. That's one thing you want to consider. But also um, affordability. You want the price to be right for you and for your family and for the driver as well. Maintenance is something to consider. Some cars are less expensive to maintain and others are more expensive. But also safety features. Not all cars come with the same safety features. In fact, even cars that are the same model, say Honda Accord, they don't all come with the same safety features throughout the years. You have to do some research and figure out which ones are the ones, which trim levels, whether it's the EX or the LX or the XLE or whatever it is, those all come with different options and safety features, not just comfort features. Well, great tips there. Well, Brian, let's talk about safety then, because that is such a big one, I think, for all of us. What safety features should we look for in a vehicle? At a minimum, we think you should have um, traction control, stability control, anti-lock brakes, uh, of course, airbags. That's, you know, I mean, there are still, you know, remember airbags started to be a thing that were pretty common in the 90s, so if someone really wanted to get, like, some cool 80s car, I would skip that for a teen. Um, you know, it's just probably not the right the right thing. But you can also consider other features if you have a little bit more money. Just You can look at forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, um, tilt and telescoping steering wheel, an adjustable driver's seat will help them get in the right position more easily. And, um, you know, parking cameras, 360-degree parking cameras where you can see all the way around, and also headlights that turn themselves on and off as it gets dark and light again. Those are some things to look for. Uh, definitely great tips when we're thinking about uh, about the teens in our lives, Brian. I want to talk to you about the the best list because you guys are known for that every year, uh, for being able to give us these lists of vehicles that are, are great for, for different times. When it comes to, though, vehicles for the teens, which cars kind of top the list this year when it comes to best cars for them? Yeah, we can we come up with a list of cars that are, you know, good for under certain price points, um, but there's a few common things. What we want to avoid is getting your kid a large truck or an SUV um, or a sports car or something high performance. That's probably not best for them because they don't have the experience to handle that. But over the years, there's a few cars that kind of rise to the top in terms of reliability and affordability and maintenance and safety. And those are cars like the Honda Accord, um, the Toyota Corolla, the Toyota Prius, the Honda CRV. Um, the Honda Civic is a good one. Uh, the Kia Soul is a good one. And in some cases, like with the Mazda 3, we recommend that people go and do their research and find one that's the Grand Touring or the Touring model at the minimum. Because when you get that version, you get extra features like lane departure warning and lane keeping assist, which will keep the car in the lane. Um, it's not probably worth saving the extra thousand dollars to not get those features, but those are some cars that over the years have proven to be, you know, reliable, affordable, and have pretty compelling safety features. There's even some of those that you can find 
for under five or six thousand dollars. Wow. Well, great tips as always, Brian. You always come through for us. Again, everyone, Brian Moody has been our guest, executive editor for Kelly Blue Book, helping you guys get some tips and advice on how to choose the best car for your team. If you're looking for information about this or even the vehicles that Kelly Blue Book feels like are the best for this month, all you guys have to do is go to kbb.com. You can see all of the lists there. Also see more information about shopping for a car. Brian, really appreciate you and looking forward to the next chat with you. Yep, thank you so much. We're glad to do it, and we're glad to have you guys with us for another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live, so let's go make today amazing. Take care.